hello everyone and again welcome back to our youtube channel scratch learners today in this video we will be discussing the 8085 program to print out the fibonacci series up to n terms i hope you all know what is a fibonacci series in fibonacci series these are the base number and all the next numbers are being calculated by summing up the preceding two numbers so 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 this is the next number then 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 is the next one similarly 2 plus 1 is equals to 3 3 plus 2 is equals to 5 and 5 plus 3 is equals to 8 and in the same way this series continues okay so 8 plus 5 is equals to 13 but that is in decimal but in hexadecimal 13 is, is equals to d right so in this way the series continues so we need to print out this fibonacci series up to n terms so n is here the user input if n is equals to 5 then it will be printing the first five numbers if n is equals to 10 then it will be printing the first 10 numbers of the fibonacci series now how we will be doing that in 8085 microprocessor first of all we will input this value of n right uh, so I am writing the code side by side and I'll explain simultaneously So so as I have said first of all, we will input this value of n. So let's input it from D triple zero hex address. Okay Sorry hex. So from D triple zero hex address that value of n will directly be loaded into the accumulator right and Let's move it into the register D so that it can be stored now we will be inputting these two numbers right these are the base numbers so we will be storing these two numbers so that we can calculate the next numbers so let's initialize b register with 00 hex and c register with 01 hex and let's also initialize the accumulator with 0 so now the accumulator contains 0, B register contains 0 and C contains 1, right? And one more thing, as we need to print out the series, so we also need to initialize a register pair from some location so that we can store the series in consecutive locations, right? So in the beginning, let's LXI H comma uh, from some address like C050X okay that means we will be printing the series starting from c050 hex address so this first number will be stored at this address then the next number one will be stored at c051 hex address then 5253 and so on okay now as we have initialized all the registers now we will start printing the numbers so first of all we need to print this value zero right and this value is currently in accumulator also so let's do move m comma a so what it will do it will print the content of accumulator or it will store the content of accumulator into the location pointed by m register that means into the location c050 hex so this value 0 will be stored at c050 hex address okay so this is stored at C050X. Now what will be our next step? In the next step, we need to add the numbers, right? So that we can fetch the next numbers. So we can add the content of the accumulator with the content of C. So what it will be? It will be the content of accumulator is equal to accumulator plus C register content. Now the accumulator contains one right as 0 plus 1 is equals to 1 now after this I am writing it here so after addition the accumulator contains 1 now we will move the content of C into the register B that means move B comma C why because I hope you all remember that we will go on adding the numbers as well as we will update the content of the registers that means now what will happen b register will be containing the 
content of C that means 1 okay then the next step will be to move the content of accumulator into the register C so this will do what C will be containing the content of accumulator that is 1 and we will also do move A comma B so the accumulator will be containing the value of B that is one here you will not understand its use in this when we will move further then you will be able to understand about these operations these are simply like we are updating the values of the register a b and c so these are the swapping right and now the next number to be stored is one right and as you can see that number is present in accumulator so we will store that number but before doing that as we have already stored something at c050 hex address to store the next number we need to increment the content of this hl register pair right that means now the memory register should point to the next location so we will do inx h okay so that now the memory register points to c051 hex address and we will also decrement the content of d because this d contains the total number of elements to be printed so we need to decrement it to see whether we reach the number of elements to be printed or not after decrementing if the content of d becomes zero okay if it becomes zero it means that we have printed all the n numbers but if this is not equals to zero then it will go to some location so that it becomes a loop right so from here it will actually go to this location okay why let's say the number of elements that is n is equals to 5 okay so here d here it will be 4 right then 4 is not equals to 0 so this loop will go to this location and move m comma a that is at c051 hex address will be storing the content of accumulator that is this value 1 so this is stored at c051 now again add c that means the content of accumulator will be added with the content of c so what it will be like it will be this plus this is equals to 2 right then we will execute the swapping section so this is move b comma c that means the b register will be containing the value of c that is 1 the c register will be containing the value of accumulator that is here 2 and the accumulator will be containing the value of b that is 1 so now the accumulator contains 1 then again we will go to the next location that is c052 hex address and uh, decrement c so this will be 3 and 3 is not equals to 0 so again we will go to this location and we will store that content of accumulator into that location so what is the content of accumulator it is one right and that is the next data that we need to print at c052 hex address right i hope this is clear now after storing we will again add the content of accumulator with the register c so it will be what the accumulator will be containing accumulator plus c that is one plus two is equals to three right this is the content of accumulator and then again the swapping so b will be containing the c register that is 2 c register will be containing the value of a so this is 3 and again the accumulator will be containing the value of b that is 2 so the next data is 2 and and see here we need to print 2 only then again this will print to what extent until the content of d becomes 0 once the content of d becomes 0 then we will stop the program as we have printed all the desired elements so this is the program behind the fibonacci series printing and i hope you got this program if you are having any doubt you can freely ask me in the comment section and yes you can uh, optimize this solution a bit more so that we can reduce this swapping part okay yeah. you can obviously give it a try in the next video we will be seeing how to print the factorial of a number so see you in the next video thank you